sometimes we don't know how to parent for faith well when we have an under five because we're like, they don't even talk yet, or they're just the smushy thing that, and I'm tired, and we don't really know how to do it. And we think once they can start reading and talking and praying, then we can start investing in it. And actually, under fives is one of the most significant times to invest in your kid's spiritual life because that's when we define reality for our children. That's when their normal is set. And so therefore, when they're six months old and we're walking around and we're tired, and we just want them to sleep and we're just there actually inviting the presence of God to be there. I, the amount of times I've been like, oh God, come because I'm so tired. Holy Spirit, fill this room and make my kids sleep and just made up this really bad song because I just needed Holy Spirit there and I've watched my kid calm down. Makes me realize that actually I'm saying that the Holy Spirit is what puts you to sleep, not anything else. And if we can make our kids norm going to sleep in the presence of God, when they're upset asking the peace of God to come, when we walk down the road and we're talking out loud to Jesus and just saying, oh God, I love your sky and I love this and oh, look at that God, I love the little wiggly worm. And when we talk out loud to him, then talking to God as part of your normal everyday becomes what people do. And we can set a normal so that our under five-year-olds can learn that the prophetic, that healing, that everyday conversations with God, that living in his presence is life with him. So by the time they have the words to figure it out and read the Bible, they get it.